Hello everybody, I am the Gruffalo, sorry, actually I'm Andy Stanton and I'm a children's author. You might know me from my Mr. Gum books. I also write picture books like Danny McGee, Drinks the Sea, uh, Going to the Volcano and a horrible one called Here Comes the Pooh Bus, but we don't talk about that. Um, and I've also written loads of other books and uh, I should just say, if you've seen me before, I usually have a lot more hair than this, but I tried to give myself a lockdown haircut recently and it didn't turn out very well, so I had to just shave it all off to disguise the damage. But anyway, I'm delighted to be talking to all of you little nibbleheads today. So, I usually like the heroes who are not necessarily the bravest or the toughest, but are actually kind of a bit vulnerable and in a bit of trouble. Uh, so, you know, what you would call an underdog character, someone that you've really got to root for because they've, you know, they've got a bit of a problem in their life at the moment. Uh, I loved Fantastic Mr. Fox, I really like Mr. Fox, and his trouble, as you might know, was that the farmers are trying to... Uh, uh, tunnel him out of his own burrow, they're trying to dig up his burrow, and he has to outwit them with smart, you know, smart thinking. I love that sort of hero, uh, somebody who outwits the baddies. And uh, another big character for me as a kid was um, the childhood hero of The 18th Emergency by Betsy Byers. Uh, he's a boy called Mouse. He's not actually a mouse, but everybody calls him Mouse. And his problem is that he's been really cheeky to the, chi uh, to the school bully, and he spends the rest of the book trying to figure out how to outwit the school bully, who I believe is called Marv Hammerman. There's a great name for you, Marv Hammerman. He sounds like the school bully, doesn't he? Um, so yeah, I like, those, I like those heroes who aren't necessarily sort of, yes, I'm the strong hero, but uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I've got to use my brain. One re uh, writer that I really do love at the moment is uh, Anthony McGowan. He writes mostly for young adults. I think that's where he writes his best stuff. And uh, he's probably my current favorite. He's also a really good friend of mine, but I'm not just saying it because he's my pal. He's a brilliant writer. He won the Carnegie Award last year. So it's not just me saying this. I'll tell you, he's quality. Uh, he writes beautifully about nature and about uh, sort of very emotional uh, he's a very funny writer too, but I, I, th I think I like him best when he's writing very sort of emotional stuff about nature and uh, childhood sort of um, brother brother relationships and stuff. So he, uh, check him out. He wrote a great book called Lark. Was that the one that won the Carnegie? It was one of those ones. But yeah, he's a lovely, lovely writer. Kind of very gentle when he's not being horrible and funny and writing about poo. Everyone writes about poo eventually. <laughs> 